Hi you guys, it's Emily with our Norwex party this week. I want to talk to you today about our mop system. Okay, if you have the mop system, you're probably in love with it and you probably tell all your friends about it and how you don't mind mopping every day because it's seriously the truth. When you get uh, the mop system, it comes with two pads, a, a dusting mop pad and a wet mop pad, okay? So this is gonna pick up all of the stuff on the floor like when you would normally vacuum or get out your dust mop. That's what this does. And this is gonna actually clean the floor. This is made of the mater same material as your dusting mitt, and this is made of the same material as your Enviro cloth, okay? So it's gonna pick up 99% uh, percent of the germs and bacteria, everything on the floor, okay? So first of all, when you're getting ready to mop, when I put mine away, I like to actually um, make it small so it doesn't take up very much space. Um, but then you're gonna lefty loosey it. I just kind of keep my feet on the bottom. Righty tighty when this green ball is about at your nose height. This is gonna alleviate some back pain that might normally come with mopping. Take your dry mop pad. You need to create that static electricity. So just real quick, rub it against itself. And then this is Velcro, so I am going to set can see this, my mop right on top. What I do is I line up one side evenly and leave space on the other side. So this right here, when I'm going up against baseboards, this can fold up and clean them while this side can really get in those corners for you, okay? This will go um, work really well going under the table, um, under things like your refrigerator and get way under there this way. Um, if you want to do something like uh, you have cobwebs up high on your, on your walls or this bench back here, sometimes I need to dust that. I notice it gets dusty every once in a while. You would want to have your mop in the lock position. So right now it can only bend this way um, and it can't the other way, okay? So, I could come over to the wall, get some cobwebs, clean the vent out, get all the dust out, then I'm ready to clean my floor. The other reason why you might want to have it in the lock position is if you need to um, take a break and set your mop up against the wall, it's less likely to fall down um, like a regular mop would. Okay. When you're doing your floors, you're going to want to unlock that and that allows it to swivel and you can mop in more of a figure eight. And my floor is not clean right now because I didn't mop, I don't think I did this yesterday. So I usually do it every day if I'm home or every other day, just kind of depends. I used to only mop. Um, once a week so so I'm just keeping all the crumbs all the pet hair um, my hair everything right in front of the mop okay and I am going to kind of lean this up against here to show you the next step so normally at this point let's just pretend I did my whole floor I would need to go get my dust pan because there's gonna be a little bit of crumbs and things that aren't gonna stick to your mop pad I wonder if you could see this if I zoom in. I, I bet you can't, but we'll try. No, not gonna work. That's okay. It's here. You are just gonna need a wet or a damp Enviro cloth. This is gonna act like your dustpan, okay? So just pick that up. Shake that over the trash can, okay? Then you're gonna want your, oh, here it is, um, rubber brush. This thing is really neat. When I first saw someone demo the mop, I was like, that's silly, I'm not gonna buy that. Um, it's really pretty cool. So all I have to do at this point is, I wanna get close to you so you can see what dirt is on here. It's not very much, but. So you just take this, holding it over your trash can, actually kind of go like right in there. And this 
usually when I get done with the whole house, this thing is like covered with all kinds of stuff and it's filthy and I do this and it literally just goes straight into the trash can. Okay. Um, I'm going to post later some more stuff on this rubber brush, but the other cool thing about this is this isn't the only thing you can use it for. Uh, you can use it on like bathroom rugs, small, really small area rugs. I actually used it as a, a lint roller the other day on my shirt because I took my dog to the vet and he's white and I came home covered in white hair and I was like, hmm, let's just see if this works. And it just came right off. Um, so I thought that was pretty sweet. Um, a few more things I'll talk to you about with that later. Upholstery too is good. Okay, so when you're done dust mopping, walk this again, pull that off. I don't need to launder this every time I use it. Um, I usually just throw this in once a week when I do my other Norwex. Okay, so for your um, wet mop pad, okay. So for this, you can either get this wet under the sink and wring it out really good, or if you have a, a water bottle, a spray bottle handy, you can also just spray this. This doesn't have to be soaking wet. Because remember with Norwex, the water is not cleaning your house. The Norwex cloth uh, microfiber is. And um, you just, you don't need it very wet. Okay. So with this, I also offset it the same way. And with this, I mop like a more traditional, just kind of out and back and I work my way backwards. The mop is going to pick up all the bacteria, the any um, like stuff that was stuck to the floor that you know you couldn't get off before okay and the really awesome thing about this is just how quick that transition was for me um, and then you don't have to deal with that mop bucket and um, the floor dries super fast so you don't have to worry about your little ones leaving footprints all over your house or your pets because in about 20 to 30 seconds your floor is dry if this is filthy, I probably would launder it with the Norwex detergent right away, but if it's not, um, I just rinse it out in the sink, let it hang to dry, and you're good to go for a, a couple more washes. Um, since we don't typically wear shoes in our house, I, that's why I don't need to do it every single time. So that's kind of your call. If it looks nasty, wash it. All right, I think that's it. I don't think I forgot anything. Um, with the mop, but if you have any questions, post them below. I'd love to answer them for you. And thanks for watching.